welcome back once again today I will be showing you how you can place the lap zipper and uh, this is the few these are the few pictures uh, where you can see how they place the um, lap zipper the traditional way of you have to sew the middle line and uh, or uh, otherwise if you are not sewing the middle line then you would have a pleat at the bottom of your zipper and I didn't want any uh, middle uh, seam or I didn't want any pleat in my dress because um, you know uh, this is a very nice d dress and I wanted one piece so if you are okay with that uh, with the middle line seam and so on just go ahead use the traditional way but I will be just uh, using other piece of fabric and joining the zipper so first I mark the middle line and then I mark how long I, I want to uh, how long my zipper is and then I stitch about one centimeter from the middle line and then I cut it after that I'm going to overlock it uh, I don't have any overlock machine so I use my traditional um, you know the regular sewing machine and uh, the good thing is my sewing machine has overcasting a stitch feature so that's great for me so I'll be using overcasting a stitch to overlock the corners next I will be placing the zipper for some reason I lost few parts or the video wasn't really good uh, to explain you how I did it so that's why I am going to show you on a paper hopefully this will explain uh, the way I am going to put the zipper on my dress I don't want to see any uh, uh, I don't want to show my zipper so that's why I was putting lap zipper and if you have invisible zipper definitely you can use that I didn't have that option either so uh, that's why I am using this method so this is the right side of uh, my paper and make sure you have a right side of the zipper and then place the right side facing each other and then sew it So this is how you are going to sew it on your uh, fabric and the right sides are facing each other as you can see and then at the bottom I will cut uh, an angle line so I can uh, put my zipper uh, insert my zipper or at the back side of fabric so make sure your uh, slit when you are going to cut the slit it doesn't pass your swing line so turn it on uh, turn your zipper now and and as you can see it covered the half of the zipper I'm going to give you one suggestion don't cut any uh, neckline or uh, shoulder seam sorry shoulder mark uh, arm of the mark don't cut anything at this point we will cut it later on uh, is just to explain you that how it is look 
how it's going to look like. So uh, then what you have to do, place uh, at the end we will place the top stitch. Now we have to make a lap for, to hide the zipper. So again, uh, if you are sewing directly on your fabric, then make sure the right sides again matching each other and then you make a stitch. And when you are going to turn uh, your zipper, then this is how it would look like and uh, to overlap it, you have to take from uh, the second side of your dress you have to take about 0.75 inches to 1 inches uh, depending on the distance of your zipper how you sew your zipper and this is how you are going to make a overlap then you are going to top the stitch from uh, the corner and as you can see if you, you cut the mark then you would definitely lose the shape of neckline and at the bottom you can see that we created a pleat and I want uh, none of these so I will be using extra strip to make a lap for my zipper you can use invisible zipper if you have that option uh, definitely you don't have to that much effort to hide your zipper but I have to use uh, I only have that option to use that so I figured uh, I was working with a few different options and I came up with this idea I don't know if anyone ever tried this kind of um, method so if anyone has already tried it please do let me know on my Facebook page I the link is in description box Anyways, so first uh, this is how I am going to sew it at the bottom we have a zipper in the middle I have the strip and on the top I have my garment if you cut the neckline make sure uh, it's it's going to match uh, perfectly otherwise you would lose the shape And then how you are going to sew it and when you are when you finish stitching this is how it's going to look like and make a top stitch and at the bottom uh, cut the extra uh, piece except except leave about uh, half inches and then tuck it on the wrong side of fabric so right now I'm making a top stitch for uh, my left panel and as I showed you I am using four layers of net because the net is really see-through and I didn't use the Banarsi fabric because it's going the fabric uh, is fraying a lot so for me it's a lot to handle anyways uh, so as I told you first at the bottom uh, we have the zipper the right side of zipper and in the middle we have the right side of our strip and at the very top we have our original garment so if you have any questions any suggestions if you want to share anything make sure you have you hack hashtag stylo blender and uh, the, uh, I know the designer party dress has five uh, parts and I'm sorry for that the reason why I made uh, so many parts is because uh, it took me it took my five days to put together all the dress so um, I have to uh, give you in-depth detail what I am creating and how I do it and uh, how I finished my garment 
so that's why this is quite lengthy and um, again once again I'm sorry for that but thank you for your patience and uh, I really appreciate uh, you spending time watching my videos um, the links are in description box all the links of my other uh, part of designer making are also in the description box For more interesting video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos every week. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Till then, take care and keep smiling. Bye.